Ladies and gentlemen, our guest is Miss Shelley Fabre. Hello there. Shelley, I, uh, I remember that song from a few thousand years ago. That goes back to my vintage, not yours, my prayer. Did you select the song? No, I didn't. My husband, Lou Adler, did. Well, which brings up to, 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 to mind the fact that this is a new recording company called Dunhill Records. And now your uh, hubby is in charge of this thing, isn't yes, it? Yes, he is. Do you take his advice completely in the recording area? Sure do. Well, that's good. I hope you yes, never have any arguments. When did you start singing? Uh, actually, back in 1961. Why? The producer of the Donna Reed Show wanted Paul Peterson and I to try recording to open up some new storylines for the Donna Reed Show for the following year. Did you think this was a good idea at the time? No, I hated it. I was terrified. But finally, we, uh, we had to do it, so ahead we went. So you have a two-way career going. Now, it's no secret, and I, I don't usually talk about people's ages, especially girls when they get to uh, their 20s. You just turned 21? Yes, in January. All right, now you are of age. How many years have you been a professional entertainer? Well, I actually started working, modeling, when I was around four years old. Well, the girls will be interested because she just spent two or three months working with a fellow who is literally a legend in show business, a man named uh, Elvis Presley. I, re I really ought to take you over and throw you to the girls and let them <laughs> ask you questions. How did you find him? Was he a pleasant man? Yes, he's a very, very nice person. He's the, uh, the epitome of a southern gentleman. He's a lot of fun. Now, wait a minute. You mentioned that you are married. Of course, I, I know Lou. Did you kiss Elvis during this picture? Yes, we had a, a kissing scene in the movie. What'd your husband say? He didn't say anything. It's just my job. <laughs> you have a very liberal husband, I would think. <laughs> did you notice anything unusual about Elvis? Did he, did he send you any presents or goodies along the line? No. Uh, well, at the beginning of the picture, Elvis always sends the girls in the picture a bouquet of flowers, but that was all. But he always does that. Well, you know, you just, you just solidify and back up what everything else, everybody else says about the man. He must be a nice man to work with. When are you going to get your new house? Well, I'm in the process of looking now. I've been looking for about seven months, and it takes so long, I don't know if I'll ever find it. I hope in the next couple of months. So. You'll be here in California? Yes, definitely. Would you do me a favor? Now, I normally don't do this, and this is a terrible thing to ask anybody in front of a few million people. Would you stand by and be a substitute performer for us today, if it's necessary? Be delighted to. Because uh, we still haven't got any word on Junior. I don't know where he is. But would that be all right with you? That's a terrible thing to throw at you, no, wouldn't it? Don't be silly. I'd be glad to. Because well, Luke called me before and he said, if you, if, if you can chat with Shelley about the new record, maybe we can do it. Okay. okay? Shelley, thank you very much. Nice to have you with us.